absolutely breathtaking, but you know what wasn't breathtaking? The price. It was $75. Recreate this expensive plant stand on the plant weirdos. It's your girl Carmiel Marceline. If you are new to the channel, hey, 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 welcome to the family. We unabashedly hyper fixate on plants here, but honestly, not just plants, also plant decor. And oh boy, that can be a real expensive habit. And you know what I saw recently on Pinterest? I saw this plant stand that was absolutely breathtaking, but you know what wasn't breathtaking? the price. It was $75. So I want to see on this episode of Bougie on a Budget if I can recreate this expensive rejuvenation plant stand on the cheap. First, I'm going to check this product listing page on rejuvenation.com's website because I want to see what we have to work with. So I'm going to scroll all the way down on the product listing page. So this is a teak planter stand and it seems like it's 15 inches wide. It comes in two different colors, a natural color and that black. And I honestly like the black version a lot more, so I think I'm gonna do that. But as I look through the different reference images, you can't really see how many little balls there are on the bottom of this circular piece of wood. I see three, but I'm assuming there's gonna be four. I'm assuming there's going to be four, but even as I'm looking at the different product specs, it doesn't even tell me how much is like what the width of those smaller circular wooden pieces are. So I guess we're just going to check and see and hope for the best. So now that I know what I need to get, I'm going to head over to Michael's and see if they have what I'm looking for. And lucky for me, they have a 15, 15, 15, 15 inch pine wood circle that looks to be like a similar thickness as the plant stand. So I went ahead and grabbed that. I also grabbed this Verithane wood accelerator stain here, you can see what it looks like on pine wood. It's a pretty dark, it kind of looks black, but I, I do wanna see some of that wood grain, which is why I did this instead of like a spray paint. And then I got a, a foam little brush to make it easy to apply the stain. Uh, I couldn't unfortunately find the little balls to be the feet of this thing, but I, I did find something awesome on Amazon. You can actually find these unfinished wood ball knobs that are two and a half inches in diameter. And it comes actually in a pack of four and it costs about $18 and 99 cents. I placed that order and it actually came in the mail. And this is, this is what they look like. Let me take one of them out. It's pretty, sizable. And what I like is that there is a flat part here so that it can sit flush to this so that I don't have to sand it myself. So that's what I really like. I also think that this specific diameter to the two and a half actually is a, is a great kind of balance. Like it doesn't feel like it's too heavy and it can be nicely spaced out. In addition to this, you are gonna need a wood glue or a, an industrial grade glue like E6000 to adhere the wooden balls to the bottom. But luckily I have that already at home. So let's get to making, shall we? First, you wanna make sure you have a covered surface because if you do get a wood stain on your clothing, on your tables, your sleeves, everything, it's very hard to get out. I am going to stir my Verithane together just so the sediment is all evenly dispersed in. And then I'm going to grab that foam brush and dip it into the stain and gently brush it along the grain of the wood. I'm gonna do that for that 15 inch wooden circle and for the wooden balls that I showed you earlier.
gonna let that dry for between 30 minutes to one hour to see how dark the stain looks and if I need to apply another coat. Once you get the desired color, no matter whatever amount of coats you need, it's important that you spray paint it with a finishing spray, essentially to water seal it because it is going to be sitting below a planter. <laughs> but I'm gonna give it a nice, healthy spray to cover every nook and cranny, seal all the good stuff in, and then let it dry for a full 12 to 24 hours. The last step is to assemble. Each of your wooden ball legs are evenly distributed and it doesn't look wonky. Once you have that, you wanna make sure that each of these wooden balls are flush to the edge of that circular base. That way it's not like jutting out in some places or like hidden all the way inside in some places. It's just an extra measure. And then from there, you want to add that adhesive, stick the very, the flat top of that wooden ball to the base of that wooden circle. Turn that plant stand right side up and then stack a couple of like heavy books just to add pressure so it adheres better together. There you have it. That is the final look. But what do we think? Do we like this plant stand? Warranted the wood is not teak, but it is pine. But how close did I get it? In total, I spent about $43 instead of $75 plus tax and shipping. So I think I think I this was a pretty easy one. It wasn't like the other DIYs that I've done where I'm like questioning why did I choose to, to recreate that? This one was a pretty doable one. So if you choose to make this on your own, I am going to link all the items that I used in the video description box and send me pictures. I'd love to see what you create. If you like today's video, hit the like button. If you wanna see more videos like this, subscribe. And if you wanna be notified every single time I post, ring that bell. With that, I hope you have an amazing rest of your day. Thanks for spending it with me, and I can't wait to see you in the next one. Until then, bye.